that's asking that has individual rights. I don't need to go run to my mother to say, Mommy, can you help me get my rights? Do I? Do I have to go to my brother or sister and go, Hey, man, I can't write it down. Can you write it down for me? I don't need to go to ILC, which is specifically sold to the public as Independent Living Center. What is your definition of independent? If I can't hold myself out in the law, or even get somebody, again, I only ask for, it's like, all I want to do, you should be able to go, hey man, I used to do services for people. And it used to be that, oh, you need, I need help filling out an application. Can you help me fill out an application? And they go, sure. And you go down there and they go, what's your name, please? You put your name. My name is this. And whatever. And they ask you the questions. And you, you give them the information. And they kindly just write it out for you. What you're saying. Or help you to, to say what you're saying on the form. They give it to you. And they go, hey, man, is that what you're trying to say? Can you read it? Is that good? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. So I helped you that. Good. Okay, well, sign there. And let's make sure that gets to the right place. The right way. Right? Well, I tried to do that for a police services complaint. you got to remember, every one of these things is traumatizing. And every time they send us back in this circular pit of despair, and just, it's, 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 it's deliberate. It's by design. It's meant to wear you down. You never get any answers. You have to keep repeating yourself over and over and over and again. My tapes cover the last 20 years of their implementation and what we've discovered is, oh yeah, to make it more accessible, they implemented Service Ontario as a barrier between all services. Like I said, this is an anthropological study of the animal in its, in its natural habitat, unthreatened not knowing it's being watched, not caring if it's being watched, being documented at every point of contact, lawfully. How do you beat that in a court of law? I didn't understand what I had. You want, and this is while they're rolling out our supposed rights. I implore. Regardless of what happens here, because it's already a done deal, we are about to be evicted again. Rights have been suspended. The right to even have our material properly prepared this time, because again, I get it right the last time, under extreme duress, made to do it, when Denise had a lawyer from the community, and they keep going, hey, let me refer you back to community legal services, see what your rights are. Independent Living Center set up for the sole purpose cannot help. She was for she, and that is part of Mennonite Central Committee. I was assaulted at Ray of Hope Mennonite Central Committee, controlled by Mennonite Central Committee. Everything in this region is controlled by Mennonite Central Committee, and by a cabal of willing partners. Least of which are police and doctors that are held hostage, no doubt. Because again, anybody who speaks out and tries to tell the truth knows what happens. Right? System of containment. You're not in a prison. Your mortgage is in a Chinese finger trap. You haven't been tricked into thinking that, oh, look at that house, how much it's worth. But you don't see the negative sign in front of it. And they say, but because you got that big amount of numbers there, hey, add more numbers to it. Have a car. Have 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 a washing machine. Have a credit card. Go on vacation. You don't see that negative sign. You're trained in school. Math is one of the most important subjects in school, as is geography and history, because historically we would know this is what they've been doing for thousands of years. And if there's any number one human rights abusing regime ever, Victoria celebrated yesterday as the queen and anything that came after. Living off the welfare of the Commonwealth, using the municipal system, and this is the Great Reset that Charles is talking about. Banks and governments are required to follow law, right? 
including human rights law? So what this does is it's a, a system of connivance to control and contain rather than defend the disabled or anybody else, and everybody's been disabled, all of us, from proper representation of the individual rights in the proper venue. And, and it's really funny because individual rights, well, they just call us all tenants and they take them away as a group. Or they put us in a group of disabled and all of a sudden we don't, we're not individual rights anymore. Seems to be a pattern here that if you're not a working Canadian, you're not work for Canada, you're disabled. Not withstanding. Including when you're a taxpayer doing all those things, they come up to a situation where they go, well, we really just don't want to deal with that, so notwithstanding. Okay, next. And let me ask you, any of you out there, you've been dealing with them? Are they allowed to enforce COVID, which again, federal, provincial, regional, city, the mouse down the street of all implemented policy on, and who's enforcing again? Are we confused as to who enforces for all levels of government? Anybody? Are they allowed to go, well, we're enforcing that law about COVID, but this landlord can get away with it, and we're going to not only let him get away with it, we're going to use the taxpayer's funds to allow him to. Because we're all acting improperly. They're not allowed to put in legal landmines, and just by doing so, well, that's taxpayers' money, right? And this is all taught by the Law Society of Upper, like managed by Law Society of Upper Canada and all the law schools, and yet none of them, you know, if you start with human rights, arch disability, wouldn't you have a protocol in place for lawyers and persons delivering legal services first? Wouldn't that be the place to start, and yet you don't even have a protocol in any venue other than deny, deflect, obstruct, vilify, victimize, then criminalize while you continue to traumatize and you wonder why Manassian gets in a van and drives down the street because again nobody's talking about the lack of services. I have been recommended through several different services agencies for several services which I have not received yet every single, because of the way they set up the healthcare system, every single person who put my name in as a patient their name is a doctor or, or an agency doing a referral got paid. They are all getting paid. I got my OHIP back. When I found out they're getting paid anyway, because again, through WSIB, they say the person who's responsible pays the OHIP, right? Pays the cost? No, that's not how it works. And when I found out, I resigned OHIP. I went to the OHIP office, signed on the paper. This is like right there, have a copy of it. And they just sat there and went, well, we'll just suspend it for a while. We'll just pretend like he's still on it and just ignore it. Again, not with standing. Deliberately so, and again, the more you break down, the more your family goes, I don't want to be around that guy. He's just nothing but trouble. Right? I'm the problem. We're the problem. We invite you to look at the series. So what it leads to is exploitation of the law, not upholding the law. Ruling the law instead of following the rule of law. No right or wrong, it's just about being justified. And they use any means necessary. The, what do you call criminal conspiracy? Oh, because it's government and, and people within government that are sworn to uphold the law and their duty under law? Well, I guess we need to redefine what that duty is because I'm, I'm, I'm confused, aren't you? So the right to defend or, or dis, to disagree, like the environment we're currently in, the right to defend your position or to disagree becomes responsibly, uh, like it's, it's your responsibility and lawfully, right to defend or disagree is, is, is a responsibility. You know, if you, that's what a difference of opinion means. As long as you're acting lawfully, right? You, you have the right to disagree. I don't have to agree with you, you don't have to agree with me. But reason and right 
it does give you the reason and right to punish and harm people and dismiss them because you don't agree. Of course black lives matter, every life matter, but again, nobody's talking disability. It's the system. Doesn't matter what color you are, it's not black or white, or bl black or white. It's not rich or poor. It's not disabled or able. It's not, it's not government or us, or us or them. The word is and. Black and white. Because that implies we have to consider both and you got balance. You know, rich or poor. No, rich and poor. Again, equal weight, equal balance. It's the language. And believe me, after 400 years of language from the crown, go ask indigenous people if they have any rights. And again, nobody talks about disabled. And the, dis the medical system's abuse of the disabled and infirm in Canada is well established and has never been properly addressed. Because, yeah, police is like arts disability management, managing it instead of doing it. Anyway, you have a lot to answer for it. I think we bring an action. I think if this doesn't get resolved, we bring a, a class action against our disability management and the government and the whole system because they're not following the law and they're making up as they go along. And this is a system of containment to protect what they're doing. What we don't know about what they're doing won't hurt us or won't hurt them because it's all bullshit. If the crown is moving their lips, they're lying. You haven't got that yet? And it's very simple. We do a referendum. We say, colonialism is dead. Imperialism and the banks, you know, the banks work for them and the corporations as an individual. Here's where they got a group that they make them into an individual that they can do whatever they want against any other individual with the full protection of the crown. Because, again, where do the courts come from? Been watching the crown lately? Court is the judges of the king the prosecutor is the church, and everybody else is fucked. Excuse my friend. Oh, by the way, then the church sits there and goes, go down and murder all those people that are in our way, come back, and then you're all absolved. You're all going to heaven now. Okay, thanks. Don't forget to put your dime in the plate. Okay. Free water on the way out the door. Thank you. Don't laugh at my funny hat. Or I'll crucify you. Yeah, it, means, it reminds me of Peter Cook. <laughs> Two of the well, all hell. But you can't understand what he said because they don't say anything. Not real. Anyway, I'm sorry. This has been traumatic. And it is traumatic. Hence the notes. So we're not with, you're dismissed notwithstanding in a land of equality and respect for the rule of law. Right? The rights of the individual, individual rights. That all you got to do is let's put them in a group and we can take them away. Right? Basic governments must follow the law first, including human rights. But they claim it's a work in progress. Right? Oh, it's all, oh, oh I'm sorry. Well, we got caught again. Okay, well, let's go over here and let's disseminate it. So we spend lots of money disseminating it when we already know what we did. We just wanted to see if you did. And freedom of information now is just what do you know about us? What do you got on us? How can we stop and obstruct you? You know, under the guise of, we're here to protect you and uphold the law. Right? Anybody getting this yet? Go to the legal aid website. See how much they spend on legal aid in courts. Waterloo Regional Courthouse. I am in a prison even though I did nothing wrong. And I've been in a prison for 18 years because an employer was allowed to operate for five years, doubling his accident rate, breaking the law, acting unlawfully, while every time there was an accident in there, one person from Labor Board and two people from WSIB, which is actually the same thing because they're all under municipal affairs. Oh, and housing. Right. And, and let's ask ourselves. They just look at this land fraud that I'm claiming. What is happening is the financial services sector is unregulated. They're doing run amok. Willing partners, hey man, that bill, I know that bill, like next door, $327,000 or something like that, they were assessed at for taxes. 
there's over 500 potentially five hundred thousand dollars over in taxes and fines owing on that property right now which means it's worthless right if that work order was not is not satisfied which it's not never has been they wrote a letter it's on the it's on the series they wrote a letter even before he raised a hammer to say we consider the case closed because they got what they wanted they got us where they wanted us they are making an example of us but like I said Atlas Property Group's out of business right we got no we got no standing there's no merit to this so banks and governments must follow the law first, including human rights. They claim it's a work in progress, but it's been 20 years and there's not even a standard protocol other than deny, deflect, obstruct, and vilify, victimize, and criminalize. My documented history is actually a slice of, uh, like it's a slice of history from 2004 to 2000, 2004, 2005 to the present. So that's like, if we went 2004, it's 2021 now, so that's what, eight, uh, 17 years? Of every interaction, I'm not saying that every interaction is is bad, but it documents the ones that are. And I can literally go, "Hey, what happened to that incident right here? Okay, here's the tape. Listen to it. I got to They make me listen to it again, and then go through it, and write it down, and go, "Oh, well, what did you experience?" That's like going to a person at Auschwitz and going, "Hey, man, go to the guy who did it to you and tell him to remind you how he did it. And you dictate it while he's you you write it down while he's giving it to you." Deliberate by design, meant to cause harm, meant to wear you down so that you stop. Just accept the privileges you've been given and you've been institutionalized. Every last one of you are institutionalized. You've been in a prison and you don't even know it, and you're all fighting for crumbs. I feel sorry for you. I really do. If you don't know what's going on, I mean, take a good look around and take a good look what's going on here because the question is very clear and it's very obvious what the answer is because this can be traced back to the 407 with NDP. The political parties are nothing but the distraction. It's the way government is run. And in all these years, where is the affordable housing for anybody? Where is the HVAC and HEPA filters and, and innovations? in building design, which had it been done, instead of they've been focusing on debt and dependency and the charade, we would have been having better planning and proactive. I mean, we've got some of the best universities and schools and technolo technological experts in the world right here in Canada. Government could be implementing that technology across the board in order to promote that. But they don't because it's about competitiveness because in competitiveness, it's about distraction. And it's me or you. You know, us or them. And, and everybody's, you know, you're in a constant state of war. And if you're in a constant state of war, even at times of peace, you are prepared for war. Anyway, I'm tired of this. I don't know if you guys are. But I invite you to go to the series. We need to speak out. I'm going to be homeless. I mean, I already know that. I mean, they've, they've got it set. We're, this is the, they're going to be successful again. We're going out to a market where you can't even afford to live anywhere. You have to be dependent on them for the system to give you assistance to go anywhere you have because they didn't do the job in the first place. And they're failing now. And we have to rely on that because it's not a matter of choice. And then the next thing's going to be they're going to take away my... Like, if I live through this health issue. And what happens there? They just go, oh, well, that's okay. He's nuts. We're going to put him on drugs, waste him out until he doesn't remember his fucking name, and then we're going to let him go. They're going to take my van next. They take my van, and I'm, 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 I'm dead in the water. All because, like, we had a place set at a proper price properly negotiated, only interfered with. And it's not the first time. And we have continuity because of my, and it is all admissible, 
Every time we went to bring an issue before any landlord tenant board, it was treated the same way. This pattern of behavior is even go look at the contacts with all the representatives that are supposed to be our representatives. And they all say the same thing. Sorry, it's a legal issue. And you can only go back to the lawyers that manage this system of connivance and containment. No matter what level of society we are, you could be, unless you bought your way in, like Atlas Property Group like Theo Papadopoulos, like Koupal Marku maybe, and other partners, because again, these are obviously contracts for revenue, and again, the way they're keeping us for public record, I guarantee you go down there, we should be able to go down there, and there will be the contract there that says, oh, the builder is this, property management is that, banking and financing, everything in place, signed, sealed, and delivered by the region, now it's totally protected because that's the revenue. And that's the ways and means through the banking system to obstruct and to upend any legitimate license or lease that was in good standing before the pandemic. You need to focus on the, 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 the ratio of beds because for a population of 350,000, 50 beds is considered, 50 ICU beds is considered you're over. So out of 350,000 people, if only 50 people who require ICU at all, and that might be the region. I'm not sure if it's just Kitchener or That might be the region. But for, even for the city, they're going, because it's based on one to one and a half beds per 100,000. Population of 100,000. And you got to ask yourself, why is that there? It's cost outweighs benefit, which defines at what point there is no profit. They may not call it profit, but why do you, and, and a system where just, uh, any, again, they don't designate, the law says there must be a primary caregiver. If we are set astray because of policy and there's no primary caregiver, the government ministry is the primary caregiver and is responsible to make sure that care is properly administered, isn't it? Again, these are basic questions, but they, they're gray area. Anybody getting this yet? Are we privatized? Benton Medical, the man, I, I took even bigger steps. I was going through the process, nothing was wrong, everything was perfectly fine, the girl was going through the pre-initial interview con process, and like two or three minutes into it, she didn't even get started, actually she was just sitting down. I was like, taking my stuff off, and this doctor barges in out of nowhere. Nothing's going on, there's no incident, there's no raising of voices. So totally cool. I didn't even say anything yet. Like, just starting the interview, and all of a sudden he comes bursting in, and she's like, she's like, what? Like, did I do something wrong? And then he takes over. And then I am abused. Basically, I knew what was happening right away again too, and I went, you know what? No, but it's on recording. But the reason why, and I think the reason why, is because I read up later. They are operated by doctors, ER doctors, from Grand River and St. Mary's Hospital. Both amalgamated boards. But the thing is, how did he know? What brought him in the room? Level of communication. I can't even type. This is why I got to use the Sorry. <sighs> I've documented this since 2004 to present roughly. Same time of the implementation by government managed and contained by ARCH disability management and government policy organizations. When they do their consultations, there is not one disabled person involved. 
Arts Disability Management speaks on behalf of all disabled persons, but this is the system we got. Anybody else convinced this is a system of slavery? Well, I guess we're going to find out, right? Paid for by your, and managed by your tax dollars? While they keep you in the same containment? Individual groups are controlled as, or individual rights are controlled as group. So, put them in a group of disabled or old age, and all of a sudden those individuals are controlled as a group. Same way as a corporation is a group of individuals that profess to be an individual, and then that group of individuals has more power than a group of individuals. I know, it's so confusing, isn't it? Like disabled, right? There's one group against another group, and also confusing when it's individual rights, which means individually I have the right to be represented. Individually, Carrie and Austin have a right to be represented. Denise has a right to be represented. In the implementation of the law, in the design of the law, in the carrying out of the law. Not just when you feel like, oh, well, I feel like it. And if, and if it's, it doesn't work out, well, we got judicial immunity anyway, so we could do whatever the hell we want. Because that's what's going on here with your tax dollars. Setting up a false narrative, continuing a false narrative, and more importantly, setting up a false tax base because they're in control of every building, old, new, and every building is based evaluation for property value is done based on minimum building code. When a bank goes in there and assesses that property, it is by minimum building code. It used to be, but now they're going, but that's so problematic. I think we just write it off, cover it by insurance, and just roll on forward because we're making money. It's all about we're open for business. Keep the money rolling in. The welfare of the Commonwealth is dependent on it. Queen Elizabeth. And her family need that. It's their God-given right to defend our rights and democracy. By the way, you guys all know who, who runs Israel, right? That it's British? The Americans going in there all the time is just a distraction. Again, the British took it over from the French. The British run the whole show there. They're responsible for it. And it's right strategically in the middle of everything that they despise and hate and always have. So like I said, it's war. They're always at war. So let's just outlaw war and kick them the fuck out. Either way, referendum. I say we return the favor. God and all that says treat others the way you want to be treated. She's been saying that. The church has been saying that. I say that's the perfect solution. They've been treating us notwithstanding. We have a referendum, make it lawful. Hey, uh, Barbados did it, right? All we got to do is get together and go, you know what? It's time that she get the hell out of our business because this criminal enterprise, well, I, I, sorry, I'm, I'm wrong. I'm not allowed to call them criminal because the Crown is never criminal. Does that tell you anything? Equality under the law, right? Anyway, I got nothing left to lose, and I'm sorry. So what they put us together in a group. So old age homes. So when is the, and you're not supposed to have age discrimination, but at what point does old age become disabled? When you have a group of old age people that are a lot more vulnerable at risk, they need to have it as a hospital setting, not like a vacation spot. And again, this is about privatization because same with the doctors. I am being refused treatment because they are privatized. Or I can go into a hospital, expose myself to, to COVID like crazy. And more, more than that, they know that the hospital for my heart I end up in is CC, IVCU at, at St. Mary's, the place where we witnessed them murder Tom or manslaughter Tom. And, and allow, and again, my biggest complaint with that is they are they allowed the staff to continue to be traumatized by not stopping. 
there to provide a safe workplace. And this was before pandemic, people. But the implications of what they did here, and I am, I am telling you right now, we are posting the corner tapes. I am fed up, and they don't believe I have these tapes. Well, it is time, and in the public interest, I will be releasing in the entirety two of the corridor tapes. One of the tapes is the initial contact with the coroner that was in a panic from St. Mary's. Okay, because they got caught. And the way that they shut this down and, and everybody in law and everything, I get You need to open your eyes as to what's going on here. My fate is sealed. My, no, my fate is in your hands. I guess. Good luck with that. Oh, anyway. Hold it together. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I'm sorry. So, you defend yourself. And the reason the right to defend yourself becomes the reason the right to punish you and harm you. And to dismiss you notwithstanding in a land of equality and respect for the rule of law. Basic governments must follow the law first, including human rights. They're not allowed to be a work in progress. I'm just repeating myself now. That page is done. Okay, so I'm on the last page here. I'm pretty sure. Yep, last page, sorry. It's a simple question. The law begins and ends with them. If they act to support unlawful acts, then aren't they acting unlawfully? By definition, if they're supporting people who act unlawfully and against their own written laws, they are taking steps to circumvent full assessment, which is not on our behalf, it's on behalf of every taxpayer. And if this is only one property, you have to question what's going on everywhere else because, hey, there's those financial reports going like, look at that, $150,000 for a house, average price, all of a sudden jump $500,000 in, in less time than the last 20, 30 years. There's only one explanation for that because instead of doing the way that they're supposed to, which is minimum building code, here's the actual value, they said, don't worry about that, we'll cover it on insurance. but they're propping up improper loans. That is bank and insurance fraud. Bank and insurance fraud. And every single building in this province is not properly assessed. This is just here and now. Look at how many buildings are popping up. Look at how many buildings are popping up. How many willing partners they have. Christian Freeland just went out and said, we're looking for willing. Because with willing partners, you could do anything. I mean, you could afford... I didn't hear that. Hey, Miss Telford, did I hear that? You didn't tell me about that, did you? The official capacity is the office. The minute you... The same with the subpoena. If you subpoena the office, oh, that's like them sending a subpoena to my house. Go, well, I didn't get it. Sorry, I didn't open it. I didn't read it. I'm sorry. What would happen if we did that? Equality under the law, right? It's not a... You know, come to Canada. Bring your wealth with you. This is not about wealth, it's about value, and they're stealing all of it. Matter of fact, all the inroads made in the last 30 years have been undone. And you got to ask yourself this thing with old folks, oh, but it just so happens that, I don't know if people remember this, but government is responsible to pay two-thirds of that, of that pension. People are living to 75, 80, and 100 years old. Regularly. Well, except for now. So why would they have improper care at, like, improper facilities. Because they don't even have proper facilities at these places because they should be medically geared. If they had HEPA technology as a po as this point in every construction, would it have been as bad? The complaints process there is the same thing. People tell you all the time, in that system, they go to make a complaint, it's like, I'm sorry, you're just being a nuisance. And you're treated as a nuisance. There's only one reason why they called in the army. They would be ordered to shut up, and again, that is full cooperation between all municipal governments. Same as Hitler. And it's partial martial law. 
And even with that, the, 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 the reports are getting out. And they still don't even mention the word disabled because we're notwithstanding. The, the, I think this shows that we all are notwithstanding whenever they choose to be. So where, where's the Constitution? We need to get that removed from the Constitution because the Constitution is nullified by having notwithstanding and there are even the power for anybody to go notwithstanding. And that is my case for human rights and constitutional case. I have more than enough evidence to prove their pattern of behavior and their 